Our current location opened in 1992. Our campus is conveniently located off Interstate 35. It's a short 20 minute drive to Duluth, a great access point for Lake Superior's North Shore. One of the first things you notice when entering our campus is the beautiful pine forest. Our campus reflects the integrated cultures of Northeastern Minnesota. The building is in the shape of a Thunderbird. The four colors used in the building represent the four directions, north, south, east, and west. We also have blue to represent the sky and green and brown representing the earth. In the amphitheater, the large wall of glass provides views of the outdoors. The building design combines straight lines and circular elements to depict the college's role of bringing people from different backgrounds together. The theme of diversity is represented in the many different construction materials visible throughout the academic building and in the varying sizes and shapes of the windows. They are both large and small, triangular, rectangular, and square. The materials reflect the bridge between communities and cultures that come to learn together at the college. Since 1992, we have had several building expansions. Two notable expansions include the Ruth A. Myers Library and Ojibwe Archives and the Lester Jack Briggs Cultural Center. Our campus residence hall also features spectacular architecture and a comfortable living environment. Several works of public art are featured in prominent locations on campus. On the main entrance to campus, you'll notice the Ojibwe Stream, composed of stainless steel and river rocks by artist Truman Lowe. Patterns cut into the stainless steel represent the river current's surface movements over the water. Chiringa is a totem sculpture in bronze by George Morrison. It is perched on a large rock located on the east side of campus. This sculpture is a contemporary and abstract version of many kinds of totems. The work was featured in the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. The Water Wind Woman, created by Jeff Savage, was placed in 2001 near our campus residence hall. Jack's Path is the permanent memorial on campus that honors the late Lester Jack Briggs. Created by artist Sterling Rathsack, the memorial includes four 600-pound bronze sculptures. The memorial remembers Briggs and his leadership during the formative years of the college. Leading Feather is the larger-than-life-size breastplate located on the amphitheater wall. It was created by Cynthia Holmes. The Ojibwe Moan Resource Center also houses a quality art collection. When visiting, take time to enjoy all the artwork on campus. 